Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, did an oil change today. The latest round of uh, mods includes a turbo smart blow off valve and a Sprint PO8 filter, and some air switching valve block off plates from Smart Moto out of the UK. They have an eBay store. The turbo smart blow off valves are available from Turbo 329 on the H2 forums. The Sprint PO8 filters are readily available on Amazon and eBay and uh, I went with Motorex Power Synthetic 10W50 and a OEM Kawasaki filter. You're gonna have to excuse me, she's dirty. I took her for a ride to warm her up before the oil change and I live in the Pacific Northwest so we had some wet grassy roads and uh, got her a little dirty but uh, got the oil change done and everything looks good to go. The Smart Moto block off plates have cleaned up the front end of the bike nicely. There's a lot of light coming through there. When sitting around drinking a cup of coffee and looking at the bike, you can really see the difference. Um, both sides nice and sharp. I like those plates. Um, I went with a Stalbus quick drain oil plug. And it comes with a little hose you can just insert and drain every time. You don't have to retorque and use a new washer on a new plug every time. So that makes it pretty convenient for quick oil changes. Um, my dogs are whining. Say hi to Remington and Desmo. Hey, dogs. So uh, we'll start her up and let her idle, and you guys can hear how that new blow off valve sounds. Some fun, high some. Um, was wondering about the blow off valve blowing off boost at low throttle settings and using Turbo 329's instructions for install. We don't have any boost leaks, I don't have any ambient blow off. You can see it's hidden up there, kind of hard to see, which sounds great. <laughs> Successful oil change. I love the blow off valve, the Sprint PO8 filter for a drop in replacement to stock. Had an immediate uh, 0.2 of effect on the dyno's air fuel ratio. It leaned out by 0.2 tenths of a point, which didn't put us in any sort of a harmful territory. In the high RPM ranges, we're still showing an air fuel ratio of right at 12.1 to 1 which is dead in line with what Kawasaki recommends so I'm not inclined to make any major changes again until I get the full Van Damen exhaust uh, again available from Turbo 329 on the forums he's our guy on those beautiful exhausts and I'm really excited maybe uh, me and the dogs will get a new exhaust for Christmas <laughs> all right everybody thank you have a good afternoon 